Hi there, welcome to a quadratic expressions and algebraic fractions video on simplifying algebraic fractions by multiplying and dividing. We're going to look at a whole bunch of key examples here, but in all cases we're going to look to factorize first and then cancel where possible. We cancel by finding a number or a letter or sometimes both that goes into the top and the bottom and dividing those in carefully. Alright, let's have a look at an example. Simplify 5x plus 15 over 5. You can see that 5 could go into the top, both of those top numbers. 5 can go into 5x, so we'll take 5 out as a common factor. We'll factorise the top here. 5 lots of x makes 5x, and we ask what have we got to multiply 5 by to get 15, which is a plus 3. So that's factorised the top, and we've got that over 5. And to cancel, we can see that there's a 5 in the bottom and into the top. So we'll divide in the 5 into the bottom once and into the top once. Now we put those little 1 markings there for a reason. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. But in this case, we're left with x plus 3. Technically, we're x, we've got x plus 3 over 1. When we've got a 1 on the bottom of a fraction, we don't necessarily need to write that in. But if we've got a 1 on the top of a fraction, we do desperately need to write that one in. Otherwise, we'll get the question wrong. So that ends up being x plus 3 in the end. Here we can factorise the top. 3 can go into the top. 3 lots of x makes 3x. We ask ourselves 3 lots of what makes minus 18, in this case minus 6. Now we had an x minus 6 on the bottom, so we can actually divide the bottom by x minus 6 and it goes once and into the top once. So the brackets can cancel out there, but put all those ones in just in case and we get 3, which could technically be 3 over 1, but we don't need to write that 1 in, so just 3 is our answer there. Okay, here nothing to factorise really, but we can do a lot of cancelling out. 5 goes into the bottom once and into 25 5 times. 4 goes into the 4 once and into the 16 4 times. X goes into itself once and into the other X once. So once after we've done that, we've got... Um, uh, 20 there. Matter of fact, I'll add uh, a Y here as well, just to show up my lack of uh, attention to detail there. 20 there, and the bottom is a 1. Let me write the Y in here to save me redoing this whole video. <laughs> I've already redone this question once. Okay, so we've got a 20 Y on the top, and that's over 1, so we don't really need to write that bottom 1 in. Okay, keeps you humble when you make mistakes, doesn't it? Anyway, so we cancelled down anything we could from the bottom to the top, and we put the little ones everywhere, And uh, but I just didn't notice that Y there. Anyway, be careful. Okay, this one, uh, we've got a couple of factorising opportunities. On the top left there, we've got 3 that can come out. 3 times N and 3 times minus 2 will get us back to 3N minus 6. And that's over 4. We've got 16N over. And we can take an N out of uh, the bottom there. What do we need to multiply N by to get N squared? We need another N, and we need another minus 2 there. And I think you can spot that there's some more cancelling opportunities here. 4 can go into the bottom once and into the top 4 times there. N can cancel into an N once. N minus 2 can cancel into the bottom and divide into the top once there. So what are we left with? We're left on the top there with 3 times 4, which is 12. And on the bottom we've just got 1 times 1 times 1, which we don't really need to write in. So that boils down to 12 there after we do all our factorising and cancelling. Okay, this one, dividing by a fraction. Do you remember the rule from sort of year 5 or year 6 or maybe year 7? <laughs> uh, when you divide by a fraction, you multiply by the second fraction turned upside down. You multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. That's another way of saying it. So let's just write that out. 18 over 7a is normal. Then we'll turn it into a times and we'll turn the, other fra the second fraction upside down. We'll reciprocate. Fancy name. Okay, then we'll see if we can cancel where possible. There's no factorising opportunities in this one. So 6 can go into itself once and into 18 three times. 7 can go into itself and go into 35 five times. A can go into itself once and into the top once. We're left with 3 times 5 on the top and 1 times 1 times 1 on the bottom. And we get 15 there. It could be 15 over 1, but uh, we don't need to write the bottom ones in. Okay, here we've got a bit of a combination here with some factorising and a dividing by a fraction. Once again, let's just write it out. 4d minus 6 over 7 stays normal. We'll turn it into a multiply and we'll reciprocate the second fraction there. 21 over 6d minus 9 this time. Let's factorise the top there. 2 can come out of the top and make d minus 3. 
that can be uh, over 7 and 21 is fair enough and 3 can come out of the bottom as well and lo and behold the brackets end up being identical there <laughs> nice when that happens. D minus 3 can go into the bottom once and into the top once. Uh, 7 can go into the bottom once and into 21 three times. That bottom 3 can now cancel into the top 3 once and we're left with 2 times 1 times 1 on the top and 1 times 1 times 1 on the bottom. If we're for simplifying algebraic fractions we'll factorize first or look to and then see if we can cancel where possible. Be careful with your cancelling. Put the little ones in and any time there's a 1 left on the top we'll desperately need to write it in. Any time there's a 1 on the bottom we can ignore it kind of thing. All right, boy, massive examples there. I hope you've, hope you've seen one of each type there. I think you have, and that should hold you in good stead for the future. All the best with your studies. PeterBlakeMath.com